Hello, my name is Joe Tiarina from ST Microelectronics, and today I'm going to show you a multi mesh demo enabled by Zigbee and BLE Mesh Technologies using our STM32 WB55 SOC, which supports BLE and IEEE 802.15.4 communications concurrently. It is the first showcase of multi mesh technologies on a single network from ST Microelectronics. In this demo, we have a combination of Zigbee and BLE Mesh networks. This includes six Zigbee nodes plus six BLE Mesh nodes and a Zigbee BLE bridge used to communicate from Zigbee to BLE Mesh and vice versa. With this configuration, the BLE Mesh nodes can react to the same command that was initiated on the Zigbee network with the reverse being the same. What we are controlling in this demo is an LED light on each node. The Zigbee network is configured as a centralized network using an Amazon Echo smart speaker as a Zigbee coordinator hub to start the network and permit other Zigbee nodes to join. The Amazon Echo is used as a hub and allows the user to take advantage of the built-in Alexa features like the voice assistant and a smartphone app to interact with the nodes. Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take a few moments. Power on your new devices now, and if needed, put them in pairing mode. I found and connected five new devices. Try saying, turn off fourth switch. The Zigbee notes are discovered as light switches. The seamless interoperability between our STM32WB based Zigbee notes and commercial hub like the Echo is possible thanks to the Zigbee radio support on both devices and more important, the support of the standard Zigbee clusters related to home automation. For example, these Zigbee nodes are utilizing the on-off and level control clusters for the control of the on-off state and brightness of their LED light. If we look at the Alexa app, you can see the representation of these active clusters in the form of this on-off button switch and a scroll bar to control the brightness. Alexa, turn family room off. Okay. On the other side, the BLE Mesh network includes a proxy node, which communicates with a smartphone app like our ST BLE Mesh app. The app serves as the user interface to interact with the nodes in the BLE Mesh network. The nodes in the network are simple BLE Mesh nodes and relays. The relays having a special capability to forward packets to push the data along the mesh network. Similar to our Zigbee network, the user can control the light on each individual node or can also turn all the lights on or off at once from the app. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, there's also a BLE Zigbee bridge node to translate the commands between both networks, which I'll activate now. This bridge is taking advantage of the dynamic and current mode capability of the STM32WB SOC to keep the respective links active with their BLE and Zigbee networks. This is a key feature as it is required in order to receive any command from the other network and forward it to its own. This enables the user to control all nodes on both networks from a single user command from either Alexa or from the BLE Mesh app. Now with this bridge enabled in part of the network, I can use Alexa to control all the lights. Alexa, turn family room on. Okay. Alexa, turn family room to 10%. Okay. The boards used for the demo are the STM32WB Discovery Kits, part number STM32WB5MM-DK. This type of multi-mesh and multi-protocol capability of the STM32WB enables maximum flexibility for design teams everywhere. The STM32WB currently supports Bluetooth LE 5.2, Zigbee, OpenThread, BLE Mesh, proprietary and multi-protocol applications, making it a great fit for smart home and IoT node applications. The next step in the STM32WB series is to support Matter devices. Look out for this feature in Q3 of this year once the Matter Consortium releases its first official Matter project. For more information, visit st.com forward slash stm32wb. Thanks for watching.